Hey, everybody, and welcome back to the Spring Loaded Football Podcast here on the Loaded Sports Network. My name is the Colonel. Let's bring in the guys and let's talk a little bit of XFL 2023. The league will kick off in February. What's going on, guys? The only bad part about this league is we're not going to be able to go see them like we did the USFL. Yeah. Yeah, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and bring in the slide, guys. Let's go ahead and talk about it. Let's talk about this face. <laughs> that's the money maker right there. Uh, just got, you know, guys, or everybody watching and listening, if you don't know about the XFL, started up in, what, 2001 the first time, 2020 the second time, COVID killed it. And then here we are, 2023, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, his ex-wife and their companies have it now. So, Third time's the charm. Yeah, why not, you know? Can you smell that? That's what the <laughs> rock is cooking. It's got a stench, I'll tell you that. So. <laughs> it kind of smells like Axe Body Spray. Yeah, yeah. Sweaty jock straps and Axe Body Spray. Well, guys, they released the team names and logos here recently, and uh, that's what we're going to review today. We're going to pick our favorites and our not-so-favorites. So let's start off here with the new team, nope. the Arlington Renegades. It's not bad. I like the colors, you know. You, I just don't get the logo. No, I mean, it's just an R, right? Yeah. Um, the Renegades. No, I get it. I mean, they, they, you know, it I makes mean, sense. But. <laughs> the Renegades, they had it made. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if they don't come out to that, if, it's going to be the biggest show. Look, if Dennis DeYoung is not out there singing that <laughs> that first game, it's you don't be... want any part of it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Bob Bob Stoops is the head coach, right? Yeah, because this used to be what was it? The Dallas. Was it, it was. Desperados? I can't. I, it might have been Renegades, wasn't it? But I can't remember where technically they were called. Anyways, it's that old team he had. Yeah. New, new location. Uh, we'll move on to the classic team from the 2020 run. Yeah. yeah the, the DC Defenders. Again, you know, it's just – I get it. It looks good. It's a nice logo, very simple. But, again, I think it's just simple, you know. Well, everybody loves the D, Brian. Well, that's true. Yeah. Especially the capital D. Yeah. So, and you yeah. got to have a little say every now and then. You get one of those big D's and a little C, and you got it made. That's what I've heard. (laughs) That's what I've heard. And go far with two of them. (laughs) And this has got a star. Who's their coach? Do we know? Oh, I don't even remember. I've lost it now after that. Yeah, as I say, Lord, I can't remember. And we'll move on to the Houston Roughnecks, who were also a part of the 2020 season yeah yeah and uh th- this is probably a classic look because it reminds me of the old houston oilers yeah that's what i was going to say this is probably my second favorite we'll get to what i think is the fa- my favorite now in a minute but like you said it reminds me of the houston oilers you know and um you know i'm a little bit too young to have remembered much about them but you know it love it man color scheme it's actually a really good logo you can clearly see the h but it's also the old Derek. you know so do you remember when they were the memphis oilers for was one it tennessee oilers? they were tennessee oilers for like one season wasn't they when they played in memphis yeah, yeah. I, I can remember seeing all that merchandise in the stores whenever i was younger yeah and i so wish i'd bought a bunch of it i remember i had a video game for you know, I was real little and it had Tennessee Oilers on it, you know. And I gotta be a admit, I'm a retro person, I love the classics, yeah. And, and with that kind of looking like the old Houston Oilers, oh, I if like, they run if they run out in baby blues, man, that's gonna be killer. Oh, that makes some people pop, wouldn't it? Yeah, uh, and we'll move on here to the Orlando Guardians which I believe is a new team. Yeah. Because uh, they were, was they the Apollos? Yeah. 
Yeah. That was the, uh, no, or was that the AAF? That was the AAF. Yeah, you're yeah. right. Um, it seems but, like there was a Guardians team, but I don't know if they played in Orlando. That's the old Tampa Bay Vipers. That's yeah. the colors the Vipers had. They moved them from Tampa Bay to Orlando. Yeah, and then the Vipers moved to Vegas, I think, is what we're going to find out in a minute. But, yeah, I mean, this is a good logo. I mean, that thing is clearly guarding something. Uh, I wouldn't want to be bit by it. No, I'd be radioactive, I imagine, by the color. It looks like it's Hulk's dog. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say a Hulk, a Hulk turd or something. <laughs> but this, you know, this is a logo. This was what you imagine yeah. when you think of sports teams. So I, this fits to me. There's got to be some kind of hidden meaning within the head of the – is that a bear? A cat? What is that? I think it's a combination of both. <laughs> a bear cat. Yeah. It's a bear cat. It's, it's, it's man bear pig. That's it, yeah. I don't say pig nose. Coached by Al Gore. Yeah, well, it's not head on. <laughs> Al Gore's coaching whole guy. We, we lost Jared on that one. Yep. My big Ronald Reagan. <laughs> But somebody clearly needed help whenever they was drawing this. Yeah. Oh, he traced it. <laughs> Cut and paste, man. Cut and paste. All right, guys. We're going to take a break right there. Enjoy this little short commercial break, and we'll be right back. Hey, guys. The world's a tough place. We all know it. I mean, the past couple of years has been rough on everybody. Uh, if you think you might be feeling depressed, stressed, anxious, or overwhelmed, today's sponsor is here to help you. Today's sponsor is BetterHelp. BetterHelp offers licensed therapists who are trained to listen and help you. Talk to your therapist in a private online environment at your convenience. There's a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000 plus therapist network that gives access to help that may not be available in your area. And guys, just to be truthful, even if it's even if it is available in your area, maybe you went to high school with a therapist or college, you don't feel comfortable talking to somebody about your problems, and that's understandable. All you have to do is fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs, and then you can get matched with the therapist in as little as 48 hours. Then you schedule your secure video and phone sessions, plus you can exchange unlimited messages, and everything you share is completely confidential. You can request a new therapist at no additional charge anytime. You can join the 3 million plus people who have taken charge of their mental health with experienced BetterHelp therapist. Guys, all you got to do is get 10% off your first month at BetterHelp.com slash Loaded Sports Network. That's BetterHelp.com slash Loaded Sports Network. Let's bring the guys back in. BetterHelp.com, H-E-L-P.com slash Loaded Sports Network for 10% off your first month. Make Ain't sure that right? Check it out. Check it out. 10%. Ching, ching. That's it. Back to the show. All right, so moving on from our Orlando Guardians here. We have the old team from the 2020 season, the Seattle Sea Dragons. The worst thing I've ever seen. Look at that. <laughs> and coach is going to be down for a minute, people. <laughs> it looks, it looks like, like a kindergartner won a contest. <laughs> I, I don't even get the colors either. No. Like, is it supposed to be spitting out fire? You would hope so, but like, why? Why put C in it? Why not just Seattle Dragons? Right. Yeah. 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 Well, you I, got the why, Seahawks. Why? Yeah, that's true. But they're trying to rip them off. I it looks like I can whoop a Sea Dragon's ass. But I mean, look at that man. There's. It's the, like the Seattle Seahawks and the Seattle Kraken hockey team. Yeah. Got together and had an illegitimate child. With the milkman, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Carl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if y'all will go into, you know, we'll go into full detail later. Yeah. That's on the Patreon. <laughs> yeah. This <laughs> yeah. 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 is on the Patreon. But guys, like I said, I just, they have millions of dollars, millions and millions of dollars to create logos and stuff. And they, and they chose, you know, Carl's kindergarten what, artwork, you know. What gets me is like, I'm guessing that's supposed to be horns off the top of it, but that's no, not even nowhere near the head. No. That's like 
I kind of put it on the table, you know what I mean? Well, I mean, th- just the way it's drawn, the thing looks like it's tiny. You know, it's not it's not imposing. <laughs> it ain't <a> good life. <laughs> well, not all snakes can be huge there, Brian. Moving on. That's true. Check out BlueChew.com. <laughs> <laughs> they low hard for hours. <laughs> all right, let's move on while we can here. <laughs> the San Antonio Brahmas. Again, this makes sense to me. The the Brahma bull, you know, the rock. Um, this is my favorite. I love this one. I don't know if it's a color scheme or what, but it, I, I love this logo. Well, I will say I that the, that, the tribal look for the bull head is pretty cool because you don't oh, yeah. see that much. Yeah. I know they, they've already got their store open, and, like, if I buy a hat, it'll be this one. So. Yeah, I'm still going to stick with the USFL. I'm I wonder help. when they tackle somebody, are they going to do the rock bottom? <laughs> they got to get up and throw their elbow pad. Oh, God. Then the people's elbow. Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy shit. You think that's Wrestling a penalty? football mixed? Hell yeah. Well, that's what the first XFL was. You know? And it didn't last long. And it didn't work. Remember the ripoff where they were going to do the cheerleaders locker room? Oh, yeah. To draw in viewers. And it, yeah. Oh, the, oh, so I mean, yeah. <laughs> you don't remember that? I wasn't behind the scenes then. <laughs> well, we got the returning team of the St. Louis Battle Hawks. Yeah. It looks great. Uh, this one is awesome. I love this one. Well, you can tell it's army inspired. Yes. With the sword. So, I mean, I like that part with the wings and all. So it it looks Air Force. Yeah. It looks just like the Air Force uh, college teams to me in right. a way. Yeah. So, but no, I, I love it. I, I think they've done a really good job. I think this one looks, you know, pretty much similar to what the this last XFL teams did. And uh, no, I love this one. It's simple and it's clean. Yeah. Yeah. It gets the point across, you know. All that good stuff. Uh, and then for our last team in the XFL 2023, we got the oh, Vegas Vipers. Yeah, I mean, me and Wayne was talking about this uh, before we started recording. I don't think the Vegas team has a stadium yet. I don't, you know, so unless something has changed in the last uh, week. Well, they got a whole desert out there. Just to put something out. Are they going to yeah. play it? Or- they can play at the Showboat Casino. Ain't that where all the wrestling pay-per-views took place in the 90s? Yeah, go see Vern Gagne and the AWA. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they got a wax museum and everything. Uh, that would be I, hilarious. <laughs> I, I get that that's kind of the Tampa Bay Vipers look. Yeah. But I like the colors for it better with the red and white. Yeah, colors fit a lot better. Um, clearly a V for Vipers. And the fangs. And the fangs. So, again, not a bad one. Uh, you know, I'm excited about this league just to see what is going to happen, you know, because here we are, number, you know, try number three. You know, number two would have worked out, I thought, a little longer had COVID not happened. And, you know, they're, they're in a good position now. They're partnering with the NFL as much as they can. They're going to they're gonna make this a success because that's what – you know, Dwayne Johnson does. So, well, my ultimate thing I would love to see is them and the USFL get their season synced up. Yeah. Because none of them are playing in the same markets. Right. So let's get the season synced up. Let them have their playoffs. And then we have like a old timey yeah. Super Bowl where yeah, you had that. Yeah. AFL, NFL, man. Yeah. yeah. yeah and then you sure. have. That would bring so much more meaning to the sport if yep. they done that. That would make them legitimate, you know. N- not that they they're not necessarily legitimate. They're clearly athletes, you know, playing professional football. But in the eyes of the TV world, it would make oh, them yeah. legitimate. And you couldn't tell me that the TV networks wouldn't want to sign up for it. Oh yeah, and oh man, it would be amazing to me to see because then you could see so much more talent. And I think, yeah. too, because you're getting to see a lot of tribalism yeah. with 
the XFL and the USFL where people are picking one side and crap on the other. Yeah. I think you could bring both sides of the audience together. Yeah, I think so. And, I, you know, we've already went through one season of USFL. Does it take five years before they do that? Maybe so. Uh, well, I wouldn't want to see it next year or the year after. Let's let the suspense build. Well, with the USFL, you've got to have home markets. You know, like I said, you know, they're planning on doing at least two markets this year. Um, you've got to have every team in its own market b- b- before you go to a Super Bowl like game. So, All right, so coach, you want to go first on which one was your favorite? I'm gonna go with the Brahma. Not to say dragon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I'm going to guess that was your least favorite? Yeah, the Sea Dragon. Yeah, the Sea Dragon was definitely my least favorite. Yeah, for me, I'm going to have to go with the uh, Houston Roughneck. I still yeah. like that classic look. It's great. I love that one too, man. And then I'm going to have to go, of course. He just wanted a Roughneck shirt. <laughs> The Sea Dragons has got to be the worst one, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, for me, uh, Coach, you already said the Brahmas. That was my favorite. I'm going to go ahead and go with Battle Hawks just to be a little different because I did think it looked really good, really clean. Uh, yeah, the worst thing I've ever saw is the Sea Dragons. So, yeah, Not picking on Just <laughs> you're, you're awful. Yeah, I mean, no, no, I'm picking on you. You're terrible. Whoever done <laughs> this, Whoever done this is bad. So we're saying the Sea Dragon is going to be like the Mar- Marlers. <laughs> yeah, the Marlers. Yeah. Maybe they can hire Kirby Wilson. Yeah, that's so what I was about to say. Is Kirby Wilson got a hand in this? You know? Yeah, get that chicken salad down. Yeah, they ain't getting pizza in Seattle. <laughs> it's always but, windy. But talking about something you can get, is it time to talk about our sale, boys? Bring it up. Let's show it off. Our, got our got our first big sale going, LotusSportsNetwork.com. Click the link, it'll take you to the store. Our Black Friday sale starts on November the 20th, goes through the 27th. You get 25% off using code LOADED25. Guys, we've got T-shirts, tank tops, sweatshirts, hoodies. With every show logo here, uh, under the Lotus Sports Network umbrella, you can get you a Coach's Corner shirt. I know Coach really appreciate that. Check out the oh, OG. The, the OG Loaded Sports Network logo, Spring Loaded Football that you're listening to now, Yellow Hammer Sports, and Brews with Brian. Everything, man, 25% off. Buy you 100 shirts, save 25% off. You said Loaded 25. <laughs> Who could pass on that deal? You're, I know it. <laughs> you're saving money by spending money. That's it. Cha-chain. Yeah, and guys, like, you know, it might not mean a lot to y'all, but it means a whole lot to us. Any, every little bit of money we were able to make – we're able to do more stuff here, so you know it's a lot easier. It's a lot easier might, to tell our to tell we our might enough money. We might do a calendar. That's I right. might do Mr. February. You never know. <laughs> yeah, so if you want that calendar, order a hundred shirts, and we'll have the coach's special calendar. Yeah, if if you order the if you if we get a hundred sh- shirts sold, man, like we'll all do the HBK with the title belt. Photo, you know, <laughs> I'm gonna need a bigger title. <laughs> Bro, you're gonna be just, just like China, right? I'm gonna need the yeah. 20 pounds yeah. to go. Hey, if we sell 100 shirts, I'll dress however you want me to, so <laughs> <laughs> or not at all. You know, so, <laughs> Blue shoes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the wind's not the only thing stiff tonight, guys. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> just getting ready for it just waiting on the sponsor <laughs> loaded 25 <laughs> that's right yeah. guys. don't forget use uh, promo code loaded 25 and it'll save you 25% off <laughs> and who knows what'll be in the package yeah who knows I be mean, long and hard, or it might be short and hard, but either way, it's going to be hard. It'll be a surprise, good or bad. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> but, guys, we'll go ahead and wrap up uh, this week's episode. I just want to thank everybody for listening. The show has been great. Uh, since we started doing this, everything has just been wonderful. So much success, uh, so much positive, uh, you know, comments. 
But guys, you can check out the video show on YouTube and Spotify. You can listen to the show anywhere you find your favorite podcast. And I know we uh, hope that we're a part of that group. But guys, we'll see you next week.